Okay, hi guys, welcome to your second Star CCM tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be basically loading up a CAD file and beginning to set up the simulation. So let's go ahead and press File, New Simulation, and uh, this dialog comes up. If you have a multi core processor, go ahead and press Parallel. And I have two processors, so I'll use two and then just press OK. Okay, so um, here it's loaded up. So um, uh, in this menu here, uh, this just basically explains the general workflow. So we begin up here, and then as we go through, we'll be working our way down. Uh, so let's begin by importing our geometry. So uh, press File, Import, Import surface mesh go ahead and find the file we made earlier the step file bfs.step click open and then uh, press ok okay now we can see our geometry has loaded up into this um, display here so to navigate around you can press the middle uh, sorry press the left mouse button click and drag to rotate um, to pan around you can use shift and the middle mouse button like that and to zoom in you can sc use the scroll wheel so there's our geometry so the first thing we need to do is tell star CCM which is the inlet and which is the outlet so to do that uh, open up the parts here and here you can see the geometry open that up and open up the surfaces and you can see the faces here so the first thing we need to do is relabel some of these faces to tell it which is the inlet and which is the outlet so right click faces and split by patch and it basically splits it up into all of its faces uh, now click your in inlet face and we'll rename that as inlet and press create and then go around to your outlet face click that and then rename it as outlet and press create okay and the rest of these faces will just be a normal wall so let's close this dialog and here's our faces named so a part is basically like a star CCM representation of geometry so we need to now convert this into an actual sort of fluid region uh, so we right click this and click um, assign parts to regions and one region for all parts and normally you want to do create a boundary for each part surface so it's going to mean the inlet the outlet and the walls are different boundaries so let's click apply and close so now you can see we've got our region created here if you open that up you can see our various boundaries so that's the wall that's the inlet and that's the outlet so the last thing we're going to do in this tutorial is um, determine which boundary type is in each location so you can click on the boundary so inlet Let's go ahead and change that to a velocity inlet. And then for the outlet, let's change that to a pressure inlet. Sorry, pressure outlet. Like that. So we've basically told Star CCM where's the fluid going in and where's the fluid going out. And how do all the other boundaries behave? And so this is a wall these are wall boundaries. Okay, join me for the next tutorial and we'll continue to develop this model.